Hi, this is Jenny Langley, author of the New Monthly Training Manual. In this um, video, we're looking at exercise 4.4.5, um, which is basically practicing or role play um, for ORS, the motivational language. Um, so in the workshops, we get carers maybe as a group or in pairs um, to think up a difficult scenario um, and then engage in a conversation with the um, sufferer um, as if they were using ORS. Um, sometimes carers find it useful when they're at home to write down a scenario and then think, OK, so how could I open the conversation um, and then imagine at every stage how the um, sufferer might respond. And then that will sort of help you to understand how reflections and affirmations can sort of go with the flow um, of the loved one. So it's not really um, that useful just to go, oh, this would be a good open question. This would be a good affirmation. This would be a good reflection. It's kind of thinking how would they respond and then how would I take that conversation um, forward from there? Um, so let's have a look at a scenario. Um, so James and Lisa are both solicitors in their early 30s. Um, they're um, in London. Uh, Lisa, Lisa's been suffering from anorexia um, and bulimia for two years. Uh, in the past, she's been good at hiding her illness, but recently her boss has expressed concerns over her health um, and the effect it's having on her work. Since then, um, Lisa has been able to stick with her meal plan, but she has um, significantly increased her exercise regime. And this is quite common. Um, and her outpatient care team have flagged this up with um, James. So James arrives home on a Friday night to find Lisa putting on her trainers. Um, so an open question might be, hi Lisa, looks like you're getting ready for a long hard run. Tell me about your day before you go. Um, so Lisa might go, oh yeah, okay, I'll tell you about my day. But she's likely to be very defensive or negative because she really wants to go for a run um, because she's had a hard day too. And this is her coping strategy to go for a run. So she might say, yes, James, I need to go for a run. I don't need you nagging me. Sometimes I feel you just don't get it. I've had a really hard week and I'm really stressed and going up, going for a run will help me relax. You should know that by now so you can feel the frustration um, that might come from Lisa uh, because she definitely wants to go for a run. Um, now, this is, this is a gift because then James can use affirmations and reflections to tap into everything that she's saying. So it's much easier to do that if they've replied rather than just grunting or bursting into tears or something like that. OK, so his reflections might be... Um, you've had a hard week and you need to do something to help you relax or it might be running does help you relax I know that or you think the only thing that will help you relax is running or you feel I just don't get it and I, I'm forever nagging you that must be frustrating must make you angry must make you want to rebel affirmations might be a really great affirmation is always thank you for telling me how you're feeling um, or you've worked hard all week, your job is really demanding and you have such a strong work ethic. So tapping into the fact that she's, um, you know, a really, really um, talented solicitor and really good at her job. Um, and you've stuck to your meal plan all week. And I know that this ex is extra hard when your work is so challenging. You're determined to get through this. So tapping into the fact that she's stuck to her meal plan rather than focusing on the fact that she wants to go for a run. Um, and then the unconditional love. I love you, Lisa. And I believe we can do this together. Um, so the learning from this is Lisa might still want to go for a run. So this is actually from the Succeed DVD. Um, and at the end of the video, Lisa decides not to go for a run. Um, but lots of carers think that's really unrealistic. So if she did still go for a run, it would be a less punishing run. Um, and whilst James might be disappointed about that, he won't have made things worse by using this ALLS approach. And when she comes back from the run, they're much more be able to, they're, it's much more likely that they'll be able to have a, um, a good conversation um, in a calm manner um, with James knowing that he has conveyed his compassion and support um, in this situation. Um, so remember with these techniques, you, it's not like a magic wand, you don't automatically get a positive response from your loved one, you might get lots of grunts, um, but you're sowing the seed that you really want to understand um, and you're really trying to come alongside your loved one. So patience and persistence are, are really good attributes for carers to nurture and develop in themselves. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, all of the worksheets and the videos can be found at www.newmorsleycarers-kent.co.uk. Thank you.